My 88-year-old grandmother uh, lives in France, uh, in the northern suburb of Paris uh, called uh, Saint-Brice. Um, she's very independent, even though her age, and so on that morning, she went to get her blood tests. Um, and just before she reaches the laboratories, uh, two Arab Muslims have attacked her from behind, punching her, kicking her to the ground, spitting on her, calling her names or uh, calling her a dirty Jew, uh, and running away from there. This was a purely anti-Semitic attack that was meant to violently attack Jews and humiliate them. Uh, it's not just an occasion, uh, you know, or a rare uh, um, event. This is actually quite common right now in France, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, it's not just like a, an anti-Semitic tragedy, but it is a very disturbing and angering uh, personal uh, um, attack. Uh, it is very far from being dealt with. There's nothing really that the French government is doing to protect the Jewish community in France. It's been decades that the Jews have been uh, attacked, uh, uh, you know, that the rise of anti-Semitism has been spreading in France and the governments, one after the other, haven't done barely anything. Um, unfortunately, since the 7th of October, anti-Semitism has actually turned into a complete plague in France uh, with murders, rape, violent attacks. And what Macron has said is that he wants to start an education program. That should have happened 10 years ago. Right now, action is needed. The Jews need the protections of the authority and they don't do anything. They're not safe in France. There's violent mobs pro-terrorists who are marching the streets, demonstrating, destroying everything on their way that are targeting, they're driving through Jewish neighborhoods trying to find Jews. This is just unbearable. And so there has to be action taken. These people have to sit behind bars. They have to be deterrents. Jews are not safe anymore. Not in Paris, not in New York, not in Los Angeles, and not in Australia. So I call all the Jewish community to come to Israel to their national, historical, religious, and cultural homeland. I call them to come here because at least here they'll be capable of defending themselves by themselves and they're not going to be at the mercy of rulers or government who are not doing anything. It's about time they come home and we call them, I call them personally to come home.